What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another segment here. Um, I want to talk about health a little bit. Um, I want to talk about the difference between good and bad cholesterol and how to improve yours. Um, so there's two types of cholesterol running through our bloodstream. There's HDL and ADL. And they stand for high density lipoprotein or low density lipoprotein. Um, now, the way I remember them is HDL high, H for heaven. Okay, so that's the HDL, which is the good. And then low for hell, low devil, low level density protein is the bad. So HDL is the good, LDL is the bad. Um, and you can look online the numbers they want you to have. They want you to now have um, like your overall cholesterol, like I think it's under 200. Um, the high, the HDL, they want you to have 100. It's like milligrams per deciliter and sometimes as low as 70. Um, now, um, sometimes it could be genetic, but um, some, um, you know, basically if your cholesterol, they also call it lipid, your lipid profile is out of whack. It could lead you to uh, heart disease and or a stroke. So you want to keep tabs on that. And the way you do it is um, you talk with your doctor about getting a, a non-fasting blood test. Usually in the fasting, I like to do very comprehensive. So I, that's usually already in, included, um, you know, in there. And so um, with the cholesterol, um, what you want to do is, um, you know, the, the way they treat it with drugs is statin drugs, and you want to try to avoid that. Because, um, you know, obviously with all drugs, there's side effects. There's also some controversy in the medical community whether high cholesterol is really bad for you or not. You know, there's a relation between cholesterol and um, testosterone numbers, for example, which is the primary hormone and very important for men. Sometimes if you lower your cholesterol too much, they say it also lowers testosterone so um, there was some controversy with that for a while depending on the doctor you go to my doc is not a real pill pusher um, you know some doctors will still try to put you on statins but um, the good foods to eat to reduce your cholesterol your overall or your bad your LDL your low density lipoprotein um, cholesterol are things like um, omega-3s like salmon, also like flax seeds, um, Brussels sprouts, um, things like that. And also um, not imbibing helps, you know, only imbibe in moderation. Um, when you drink, it messes with those numbers, you know, it will give you bad numbers and stuff. So um, something you may want to think about. Um, not imbibing alcohol, that is, you know. Right now I'm having this sample tea that they send me, black tea. It's pretty good. It's called Sip and Be Merry Black Tea. It's a sample because I order some teas sometimes and, um, you know, they sent this as a sample and it's pretty good actually. Um, so, yeah, those are the easiest lifestyle changes um, in moderation imbibing can help and moderation is like I said one glass for example with wine one glass I mean one glass for women two glasses for men um, in most uh, guidelines you know here in the US that's what it is beer it's like uh, two beers two 12 ounces for men so moderation is the key with that but um, that's basically, so like I said, the way I try to remember it is HDL, H is for heaven, LDL, low is for hell. So HDL is the good, LDL is the bad. And um, you want to try to keep your cholesterol, your overall kind of low. And um, basically lifestyle ch changes. Imbibing is a big thing. You don't want to imbibe binge drinking and things like that. It's really going to keep you behind the eight ball. Um, so, yeah, those are some thoughts on cholesterol. I guess I was thinking about this. Um, it's been a lot of articles out now, probably because um, the season of Gorman 
dizing, all this food is upon us. And people like to eat starting soon, and they eat a lot of stuff and imbibe maybe and things like that. So um, a lot of people have high cholesterol in the U.S., I would imagine. So the um, best way is don't imbibe. Do it only in moderation. If you don't imbibe, it's even better. Um, eat those foods, like I said, salmon, Brussels sprouts, flaxseed, anything high in omega-3s. Um, and um, yeah. And try to stay away from those statin drugs. Talk with your doctor about it. See, when you go to a doctor, it's kind of like you're delegating your health to someone, right? And you've got to go in there with some knowledge of your situation or what you want to inquire about. Otherwise, the doctor, if they're a pill pusher, they'll write a prescription and send you on your way. No questions asked on your part. So you want to go in there and communicate to make sure they don't keep you in there for more than for you know, um, less than five minutes, you know, so you want to, because you're delegating, remember, you never want to delegate what you do not know. That's another personal development skill slash tip there. You don't want to delegate what you don't know. So when you go to a doctor, even though he's the professional, you don't want to delegate to him what you don't know so you've got to have some basic knowledge at least of your health and whatever your particular situation is and um, you know um, you could check out my other video on choosing experts who to listen to when you're getting your information from um, and um, yeah so go in there with some basic knowledge at least and have a few questions for your doctor so they can't just do what they want with you. You have to be responsible for your part as well. So that's a little bit on cholesterol and health, my health tidbit. I want you guys to take care of yourself so we could be around a while and um, enjoy some more things of value here. All right. So you guys take care. Remember that. Get some basic information and do your part. All right. Take care, and I'll see you guys hopefully another time.